Hello, I am Professor Aparna Surve, Dean, Balwanji School of Architecture. I take the great pleasure in taking you all through our journey for past 12 years and how we have shaped our students and in coming 10 years or 20 years how the school is going to leapfrog into the newer challenges and build students of architecture and architecture itself. Let me take you through this journey. It is my pleasure to take you through the journey of Balwanshi School of Architecture and how as an institute it has engaged with this meta discipline of architecture and how it has trained our students to become successful architects. If you look at architecture per se, it's a discipline that engages with a wide range of disciplines. It not only lets you shape an individual's life but to build communities, design cities and also envision large regions and townships. And therefore, it is important for a seeker of architecture to be curious about the world around, continue to, continuously look at the history, map present and envision the future. And no sooner you envision the future, you predict the future, you are ready to plan buildings. And these buildings, they outlive your own lifespan. They not only live for a decade, but they live for centuries. And as they live for centuries, they are there to tell the story, the story of the time when they were built. And when they are telling you the story, isn't it important that an architect needs not only to look at architecture as a discipline, but it also has to look at art, history and technology and remain constantly curious about it. Therefore, architecture is not only a discipline that shapes others' lives, but I think it completely transforms and enriches the life of its creator. Uh, about Balwanchet School of Architecture itself, right from its inception in 2007, its founding dean, Professor Trilochan Chaya, set up a very unique vision for this school. As we discussed that architecture being a meta-discipline, trying to oscillate between art on one hand and technology on the other hand, it was very important for us to make students connected with their own thought processes. The school has hence developed a unique methodology through which they are made sensitive, they are made uh, connected to their inner intuitive sensibilities of design and thereby making their own judgments about what is good design and bad design. Once that freedom is given to the students or experienced by the students, the rest of the life they take it as their own acumen and successfully traverse the journey as a profession. To name a few, many of our students have not only engaged in the context of India, but they have gone to universities like Harvard, MIT, A School London, UCL Bartlett and many renowned institutions where they not only did their master's program, but they continue to teach there, continue to get into their researches and have engaged in creating new knowledge which could have been patented. BSS students are always sought after by many uh, professionals. Even today, we have no dearth of requirements from coming from industry asking for the students because we know that our students with their own intuition, with their own sensibility and confidence can change this world. So how do we do it? What is a methodology? Methodology is very simple. When they come, they are like a clay. Through a foundational methodologies in the first and the second year, many hands-on workshops are created. We don't push them into design as they come in. We first work on exercises which may not seeming, seemingly look like creating of buildings. It's about understanding how can I create a form? How can I understand the process of creating a form? So you will, if you come to BSSA, you will see a plethora of experiments spread all across the uh, corridor or we call it very fondly call it as a BSSA street. You see them all around. Once students start understanding their inner processes, they are gradually introduced to very contemporary digital tools by way of uh, teaching them into uh, softwares to the manufacturing processes. 
that is how students are enabled to take their ideas into the profession and lastly in their final years final stages students are also connected with the industry many industry experts come to the uh, institutes at that time the industry experts are surprised at the way students respond with a free mind creativity and innovation i think this has been the biggest uh, achievement of bssa of last 12 years and we continue uh, to perform and function in this in a way by accepting newer challenges of the contemporary time as we understand bssa's journey uh, about bachelor of architecture and uh, how a decade and over over a decade school has evolved as a next natural step that happened to us a couple of years back was introduction of master of architecture program in advanced architecture on one hand and on the other hand introduction of ba interior design course both these courses lie on the two sides of architecture on one hand master of architecture deals with advanced technologies urban mapping and bringing young professionals or mid career professionals back into the school and do a course correction about their thinking acquire new skills and go back into the profession to make a larger impact at a higher level on the other hand the ciid which which seemingly a parallel course but it it deals with architecture from inside out it looks at individual needs it looks at micro understanding of design be it a chair be it a glass be it a, a pencil curtain systems and how it flows into architecture we look at lot of our interior design students may take up set designs furniture design um uh, fashion design to that ex extent lighting design and craft oriented designs as future specializations though bachelor of architecture master in architecture and interior design are seemingly three courses what are they bound by is the foundational training that we give at bssa we open up their ideas about design thinking and introducing to the high tech technology which bssa is known for all the three courses are sharing that knowledge knowledge with each other and creating professionals with cutting edge technology so interior design is about inside out we can say that architecture is about outside in and master in architecture is about making a large scale urban level impact and creating substantial practices and hence we see that we are able to create multiple platforms where these three courses can come together share from each other and enrich this institute to pave way for future growth now how these three courses are weaving into each other learning from each other and moving into the the next decade or more what are we doing what are we looking at one direction that we can easily see that we are under this robust umbrella of plethora of disciplines which are housed by nmms be it civil engineering with performing arts liberal arts design management studies project management and so on and so forth we are extremely excited that we are surrounded by these disciplines and as we keep saying that architecture begin meta discipline it is bound to make that step ahead and create a platform where we can start engaging and where is a better place other than nmms to give us this opportunity with this excitement we have already created classroom environments where civil engineering students from mpstme and architecture students have started to work together to solve problems as a team as a multidisciplinary team to resolve architectural issues through structural problem solving i think this experiment will conclude by end of march and i'm we are already seeing that the fruits are bearing and we are able to develop this communication with other disciplines apart from that apart from the sharing of knowledge 
NMMS's intent of excellence in education and because of that giving us the best of infrastructure be it robotic arms, be it CNC, be it laser cutting machines, uh, whether uh, the, the type of furniture that we specially require for architecture students in the formative years and differently for the master's years, everything is, is available to us. I think it is now up to us as in faculty, as people who think, as students to do, make most of it and create a better world for us as architects, not only really who are teaching, learning, but when we go out as practicing architects. So I look forward to NMIMS's robust support for the years to come as it has been forever. As we take great pride in celebrating the history of BSSA, which has created global architects and global designers who have not only contributed directly in the field of architecture, but they have beautifully uh, diversified into even making applications, creating patents and they have really gone all around. So as we do that, what do we do now in coming 10 years or 20 years? As we all think, we realize that we need to focus on probably three things. The first thing is the technologically advanced world that we are living in. Every second day we are thrown at with new technological inventions. I think the school which is already equipped needs to constantly engage and the first thing what we are doing is we are setting up our high-tech lab. That is the first step that we have already begun and for the upcoming years we are definitely going to have high-end CNC machines and robotic arms, addition of laser cutting machines. So from architecture construction can we move towards architectural manufacturing and can professional architects participate in that process. This is one. Second, most importantly that maybe not my generation but definitely the upcoming generation are going to face is the urgency and immediate need of climate change. Architecture being a physically manifested phenomenon, architecture students will need to deal with climate change very differently. They will have to learn new data, they will have to deal with newer technologies, they will have to employ themselves to come up with newer solutions. It's, it's, it is said that half of the country, half of the world is going to get submerged. So what are we going to do about it? So climate change is something that we have to take it, going to take up with the help of renowned institutes, experts coming here, organizing webinar, webinars and getting into real life problems. Uh, and working them, working on them in studios is our next step to deal with climate change. And third, which I have already spoken about is the multidisciplinarity. The problems are whirling at us, maybe because of technology or the information overload. We need to constantly look at a problem from many angles at the same time. And there is no other way but deal with it multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary manner. And NMIMS, as I have already said, that is giving us this opportunity. We are definitely going to reinforce that and deal with our immediate problems, which are climate change, with the modern tools of technology and come out victorious. And I think this new generation will definitely take up the challenge and institute will definitely support them and participate in this global process. I welcome you all to come and see us, visit the experiments that we are doing and be the part of the education systems that we are imparting and let us create and build this world for future.